everyone, it's Jill with Angel Creations and I wanted to come and do a quick little rustic um, 4th of July decor and uh, this night, night might not be your taste so um, I like to do farmhouse, antique and um, rustic decor um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it and hopefully you'll, hopefully you'll like it and um, let's go ahead and get started. So you are going to need a package of uh, the napkins and the flag at the Dollar Tree and we are just going to be using one of those today but these are great leftover for the 4th of July that's coming. And then you're going to need go ahead and need one of these wooden pallets with the four slats um, going across the, the front of it and the two in the back. Now I already started painting this because I was in the middle of my video and we got a bad storm and it knocked out my power so I had to stop the video. So, uh, so mine is painted a little bit but you're going to need one of these. This is also from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a sanding sponge also from the Dollar Tree. You'll need uh, some paint brushes. One is going to be for Mod Podge. You're going to need Mod Podge. You can even use Elmer's glue if you have Elmer's glue, but I'm going to be using Mod Podge today. If you do use some Elmer's glue, you're going to want to thin that out a little bit uh, with a little bit of water so that it's just not as thick because it will be hard to work with if it's too thick. You'll need a pencil. Uh, we are going to need a little, I'm going to use a spare piece of craft wire from a hanger, but you can uh, use anything. You can use string, rope, jute, um, you can even sit it on a shelf. It doesn't have to be a um, hanging uh, decor. It can be a shelf sitter, which is also fun. And then you're going to need, um, I'm going to be putting the word home on mine. Um, but you can put welcome, uh, grateful, blessed, uh, hope. The, the Dollar Tree sells all of these words too. Uh, also, you can find them at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, any place that sells crafts, you can usually find these wooden words. So I'm going to be using home today. And then you're going to need um, a little bit of white paint. I'm using uh, Waverly white chalk paint today, but it doesn't have to be chalk paint. It can be any white acrylic paint will do. Um, so we're going to be using the white. And we are also going to be using a little bit of the Waverly antique wax which is just a brown color so if you don't have this you don't need chalk paint you can use any brown color okay we're just going to be using a tiny bit of this and again if you choose to use brown paint add just a little tiny bit of water to it to thin it out because um, then it works more of as, as, as like a stained wood than a painted wood if that makes any sense and then I have um, just a little Dixie cup for my Mod Podge, and you're going to need your hot glue gun. And that should do it. I think we have all of our supplies, and I see that we are recording, and hopefully we don't get interrupted by a storm. I'm going to give this a quick shake, though. All right, so let's, um, so the first thing you would do... <laughs> is what I did before my storm was I lightly sanded this because it is from the Dollar Tree. They don't come sanded and they are usually pretty rough around the edges and so to avoid a splinter um, I just went over this ever so lightly, nothing stressful, um, just to knock all those loose splinters off if there are any. So then I, I painted the sides white, and then my camera went out, but I painted the sides white, so I've already done that. 
The next thing that you would want to do is take one of your napkins from the Dollar Tree and it comes in two ply. So you're going to want to take that backing off of it so that you have two pieces because you're going to discard this piece because if you go ahead and wet this with Mod Podge and you leave this backing on your napkin, it's going to ripple and that just causes all kinds of non-attractive uh, things. So we just take that back one off and then you will put this, let me turn this camera down so you can see what I'm doing now. So after you take that, that one ply off, you're going to take your flag piece, your wooden crate piece I mean, and you're going to put that down and you are going to take your pencil. Now you can put this if you want to see more stars on your woodwork, then by all means put it so that it's going to be mostly stars. Let me turn it around and show you up in this corner. And this is the bottom. So if you would like the look of that, I, I love that. I'm just going to put mine more in the center so that I get both stars and stripes and you're just going to trace around your wooden piece and then you need to cut this out and I've done so already so here's my piece now you're going to see this does not fit correctly all the way around that's okay because we are going to Mod Podge this down and then we are going to use our sanding block and that's what we'll get our edges off with. If you don't have a sanding block, you can use sandpaper. And if you don't have either, you can trim this off after we Mod Podge it. You can trim the edges off with your scissors. So now we're just going to put that aside and put some Mod Podge in our cup. I just put Mod Podge in a cup or in a container because that way I don't contaminate my Mod Podge with dipping into it after I've touched glitter or paint or anything. So I like to just put mine in a little bit of a Dixie cup that is also from the Dollar Tree. And then we'll, we'll just coat this with a, just a real thin, messy, a little bit thicker than that maybe but just a thin coat so that it's sticky all over and we'll hold our napkin down good we don't really want it too sticky I mean not sticky but too wet and napkin piece back there so we just want it to be a little bit I don't know if you've ever Mod Podge or if you've ever paper mache um, Basically, it's the same idea. Okay, so we're just going to stick our flag on here. Smooth it out. I'm going to let this dry for a minute. Kind of make sure we don't have any wrinkles. I'm going to put the cap on my Mod Podge. Mod Podge does like to dry very quickly. So while we're waiting for this to dry, which will only take us a moment, I'm going to take my brown Waverly paint and I'm going to put just a little bit with my leftover napkin I'm going to just with my finger dab a little bit 
of this on my home sign. My word, home words. Because I don't want a lot. I just want it to have a little color so that it wasn't just the raw wood. Can you see what I'm doing? Just just enough so that it's a it's a stained wood and not raw wood. Because I just think it will pop better if it's stained. Okay. And then I'm just gonna wash my hands with a baby wipe. Also from the Dollar Tree, my best friend. And I'm just going to rub this baby wipe now right over my stained piece of wood. Get some of that off. And that way you can see the wood grain through it. Isn't that nice? Can you see that? Down. I don't know if you can see it. I hope so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna clean my hands. All right. So now we're gonna have to take. Oops. We're gonna take our sanding spot. Block. This should be pretty dry. It doesn't have to be totally dry. Smooth it out. Make sure there's no... Because the big bubbles, it can have little bubbles, but if it has a big bubble, when we sand it, it will just rip it and tear it. We don't want to rip it and tear it. We want to distress it. We're going to come back with some of this, <clears throat> excuse me, brown Waverly paint. And we're going to put a little of that on it to distress it a little too. But I'm just trying to get out all the little bubbles. See, there's a bubble I don't really like right there. But it doesn't want to work itself out. So now we're going to take our sanding block and just distress it. We'll cut that right. Those edges will just come right off. You don't even have to trim them. I'm going to make sure that we get the corner good because that will make it look old and distressed. But see how it's cutting? Yeah, let's do it this way. Can you see how that is cutting? Uh, I'm not good with the camera yet, but it's cutting it right off. Can you see that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm really bad at this camera angle stuff, but I'll show you when the whole thing is off. Can you see how it's starting to pull away in a strip? It's just going to have a little rough edge. And that's what I want it to have, a little rough edge. Again, I'm going to give it a little more sanding on the corner. I'm going to go all the way around. it doesn't bother you the sound of sandpaper. Get the corner good. Then I am just going to take my pencil and pop it through all over where the slats are hollow. Push, 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 just to just make it hollow. Because I'm going to come back with my sanding block, and I'm going to do the same thing to those edges as I did to the outside edges. 
like that. Okay, so now I'm going to just look at the, can you see? Just holes. Could have used an X-Acto knife, but I didn't have it handy. So I'm going to take the corner of the sanding sponge and I'm just going to rub it down the inside. Rub it, rub it down the inside. And it's going to make a mess, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> it's going to be so cute. See what we're doing here. <clears throat> to run the pencil down to clean up some of the scraps that it's kind of sticking to the middle. Take a minute, but I don't like to hurry my crafts anyway. I enjoy it, so I like to take my time. I don't know about you, where you live, but we in Florida, in Dade City, Florida, which is Right, kind of, I don't know, it's central. It's in the middle of, it's about 45 minutes uh, to an hour from Tampa and about the same to uh, Orlando Disney World. So I'm about right in the middle. And we had some terrible storms today. I lost power, I lost my mind because I do not like thunder and lightning. <laughs> when I was a little kid my mom was hit by lightning, struck by lightning and so she brought me up to be very afraid unfortunately of thunder and lightning which I tried so hard not to do with my children and for the most part I think they brave it out. Um, but I definitely, they know their mother does not like thunder and lightning, and we had some doozies today. But that's what happens here in Florida in the summer. So I think I cleaned it up pretty well. We don't have to be perfect, but we will uh, clean it up a little bit more. So do you see the effect that we're getting around the edges? I'm going to do a little more on the edges. I want it to look rustic rustic is my thing I grew up in New Hampshire and um, I would love I love to do anything farmhousey or um, rustic you know I would have been happy growing up on Little House in the Prairie. I don't know if I would have been happy growing up there, but I'd like to go visit the Little House in the Prairie now because I love all their decorations, which back then were ooh, their um, necessities. You know, I like to decorate with primitive, but that was their necessities back then, so I'm glad I have my modern appliances for sure. And I can just decorate rustic. Alright, so before I show you that, let me get rid of this mess. Let's put all of our mess in the trash. And let's see if you can see now. How this looking. You see the weathered look on the edges. It's hotter over on the white, but you can kind of see it more on this side. And then we went in between all the slats. So this is really, I don't know if this is backwards in your camera, but this is what we have. So far. Now I'm also going to take my sand sanding block and just give my home the same little appearance 
Be very careful while you're doing these little words this way though because they are very thin and they will snap easily. So we want to just be very careful when you are sanding. Almost need to put it down, I think. It's a little tricky, but can be done. Now you don't have to do this part, I just like the look of it this way, but by all means, you don't even have to stain your words. You could have painted your words, you can paint them or stain them, you can take, um, you could cover the words if you wanted to with contact, uh, not contact paper, but scrapbook paper a lot of different things that you could do. So I'm going to just distress a little bit more here I see. It is like am I distressing a little heavier than that? Alright and then just for the heck of it, I'm going to just do it all over. Just a light. See how it's changing it to look older and distressed? I like that. Tearing off over the bubbles, but I like that too. Alright. And then I'm going to just stick this back in the Mod Pod for a second and glue this piece down over here because that one ripped a little too much. And that will fix that. Alright, so now this is the rustic tattered flag on our little wooden. I'm so sorry, but I have to get rid of this. And have a messy workstation. Okay, so now I'm going to put um, I am going to put this I don't really think I like it. I think I was heading in a good direction but I don't think I like this. Do you? I don't think you can see home. So now I think I will go back after all that and I'm going to paint my home in the white Waverly paint because I think that will stick out much more. So I'm going back in with my Waverly paint. And I'm just going to a little too much on my brush there. Okay. And I'm just going to give it a good coat of paint. I really like the look of the stained wood, but that's just not going to show up on this word this time. So, let's just get in all the nooks and crannies. I am a messy painter. I love the feel of a paintbrush in my hand, but I am a messy, messy painter. <laughs> I don't know why. I just am very messy. Even when I paint walls in my home, it's terrible. I am a terrible, messy painter. see if that's going to show up better. Yes, that's going to show up much better. And while that is drying, we're going to take a little bit of our Waverly 
we're going to take a little bit of our Waverly Wax paint, brown, well, actually it's called Antique, the color, and I'm going to use my baby wipe, and I'm going to just dip my finger a little bit in the cap, and I'm going to go around on my flag, I think I'll dip it on my mat here first, can you see what I'm doing, so I don't want a big blob all at once. And I'm going to just distress my flag so it's not bright white. See if you can tell the difference. Can you see the difference? Is it showing up? And a little more on the edges. Can you see what I'm doing with my mat? Kind of dabbing it. Just going around my flag haphazardly. I'm not trying to do any specific, but I do like to go around the edges in a little bit heavier finger, okay, because that makes it a little darker. Oops. I do want the edges a little darker. Almost like it's been sitting around for a while. You know, it's antique. It's been sitting around in somebody's attic for ages and you, you just came upon it and now it's going to be your little treasure. That's what I want it to look like. Oh, look at my grandmother's little decoration she put up. You know, it will be so cute to just, whoops, there yeah, we want a little bit of white, you know, but we don't want, there, so I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like old glory has been sitting around in somebody's attic and it was their favorite little thing and now you found it and while I have this out I might as well go ahead and distress because do you remember I was sanding it for the distress look so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this word just a little bit of distressing too just around the edges I think I'll do the whole thing because that's the look I like, but I'm going to pay attention mostly to the edges. And then I might come back with the other piece of the baby wipe and take some of it off because you can do that. That's why I love working with baby wipes. Not only does it keep my hands clean, but they're versatile to work with. And that made that look just weathered and old enough. It's really hard probably for you to see. I don't know why. I have to learn the camera. But you can see a little bit in there. Alright, so we're going to put our home. It's going to be sitting right in the middle of our flag. It's going to say home almost feel like I need a little bit of maybe, uh, let's see, something to frame up this home. Maybe, no, that's too small, popsicle stick, unless I do that in the brown. Or what if we use a little scrap paper. Is that too busy? Yeah, that's too busy. Alright, I think we are going to, you know what I do have? I have, let's see if this is wider, a paint stick. I think I'm going to add a paint stick to this uh, craft, and this is just from Walmart. You can buy these in a pack. I think they come in like 10. 
I don't remember the price, maybe a dollar, dollar ninety nine. And so I am going to just measure out and cut. I'm going to measure out and I'm going to cut this. You could use a pop you can use a popsicle stick or two or a tongue depressor is what I call them because they're super big, but just because of time, I'm going to go with this because it's a little wider and I don't want to use two. The paint stick is just wide enough that I can, so now the trick is to cut this with scissors. And my sister gave me the coolest pair of scissors to cut this stuff with, but because I didn't plan on using this, I don't have those cool scissors out here. So now I'm going to, of course, sand this off a little. I'm going to put the cover on my wax paint. There's plenty here that we can stain this piece of wood. Like that. Those edges. Oh, I might need a little, add a little more to the edges. Make sure it's all covered. See how that, should we make that a little darker? I think we're going to make this a little darker because it'll make the home show up a little more. We're just going to go with it. That's what we do around here. We just go with it until it's wicked cute and every time we do one of these little things we second guess ourselves but then it comes out wicked cute so let's see making this a little darker in the middle just so that we can see home behind it all right so now, let's see how home is going to look. Oh yeah, much better. So this is home. So I think we're just going to put home in the middle, space it evenly on both sides. And then we're going to put home in the middle, like that. And then we are going to hang it. I may add a bead. I think I'll add a bead or two. Um, or should I just tie a bow? Maybe we should tie a bow. I'm not really a bow. Let's see. I think this is cute. This is going to be cute like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue the first layer on. I'm going to try to get it right down in the center. Hold that down. Okay, and then I'm going to put that aside for a moment. 
because I want to glue a little bit of moss around the H. So it kind of looks like a wreath, if you uh, if you will, like a little wreath is making up, making the O. Okay, so I am going to put on one of my little, I don't know what they're called, but they protect me from burns. <laughs> also at the Dollar Tree. And I am just going to put a little bit of glue around my O. Just enough so it will hold my moss. And then I'm just going to st stick down little, pe oh, little pieces. Press it all down. Press it all down. And most of it's going to fall off, but we're going to do it again and again and again. Actually, we're going to trim it up real quick. Every time in between, we'll just trim it so that it's nice and clean around the O. I have to tell you all, this feels really strange. I feel like my cats are looking at me funny, like, who are you talking to? Because I'm sitting home alone making this video for you and... I don't normally talk this much by myself. <laughs> so, they're getting curious. So if my co-workers, <laughs> my cats, I'm going to cut a little, chop a little of it. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe if we just do smaller pieces of it. It will be a little easier to work with. About that. Let's try that. So, back to talking to myself. I don't usually talk this much to myself or this long. So, I have two little kitties. I call them my co workers. And they're both rescues, and they're both tuxedo kitties, black and white and they are just my loves they make me laugh they keep me company they keep me warm at night they're just my little sweetums and i just love them but they are really starting to look at me like mummy has issues mummy is whacked out she is talking to herself okay I, lo I put this one down and I couldn't find it, so I reached for another one, but I'm going to put some more hot glue on here. And my O, I'm going to put it right on top of the other moss, too, because I want it to be full. And then I'm just going to start in the places that we don't have moss yet. I'm going to put this pencil eraser in the middle so we don't... cover up the hole. This is kind of a little tedious. I'm not, but it's going to just make this project pop all the more and I just love the look of it. So, let's see, try to keep that center piece open there. We're going to flip it and see what falls off this time and probably go back one more time. It's like a stick, that stick out of there. 
Alright. Shake that off. Let's go back another time. Trim it a little bit. Little haircut. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Okay, I'm actually going to trim the middle of this a second too. So we'll do that one more time. We'll put some more glue. Glue. to cover up the glue so we don't see any of the glue. Uh-oh. Whoopsie. Take that off because it's sticking at the moment. Trim those little hairy glue monster strings. Kind of looks like a little green donut right now. That's going to be good though. I'm going to just trim up the middle and I'm going to turn it around and show you. bit of glue here. I'm just going to try to cover that up. Because I'm a perfectionist. And I don't want to see it. Okay. Alright. Perfect. So now... going to shake that all off, that mess, get our little flag back that we have with our, our little wooden piece in the middle, and now this is what our little home sign looks like. See a little bit of trimming I want to do over here. And now we're going to just glue this. But I'm going to glue it my way, so it's reading the right way. I'm going to glue it right onto this piece of wood, my little flag. center that right in the middle of my dark wood and then just press it down clean up my little hole there in my wreath And look how sweet this is starting to look. Wicked cute, isn't it? Okay, so now we're going to put the hanger on. But I think that you're going to have to excuse me for a minute because I'm going to add some beads to it. Because I think these, this is coming out so cute, but it does need some beads. Sorry, sorry. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Digging my beads. And I think I'm gonna go with I don't know if these are going to be too big. I'm going to, I wanted to go with the dark brown, but I think those will be too big. Let me get a couple out and see. I could alternate between big, I mean not big and little, but I could alternate between the brown and the natural, but I don't I'm sorry, this is, I'm going to do brown, natural, brown, natural, brown, natural, I don't know what that is, I'll stuck to that. And I'm only going to put a couple on each side. So I'm going to do three and three. And so we're going to just put this through our wire, every other. Very simple. Just like that just to give it a little detail. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Put these away, we didn't use these. I'm gonna flip it over on the back, and now it's not flat because of the little wreath that we did, but we are just going to put, uh, let's see, I don't know what kind of measurement, but we're gonna call it a huge heap of ton. Huge heap on both sides of this and we are going to stick our wire right in to that glue and we're actually going to put another heap of ton on top of it like that and this is going to seal it in and it's going to keep anything sharp away from our wall. So we just have to let that dry. And you kind of have to hold it because it does want to tilt and run off the other side. So I'm just going to hold that for a moment. And like I said, the back of this is unfinished, but if I was going to sell this or give it as a gift, I would completely cover the back of this, not only in paint, but I probably would cover up um, the back of the hanger with felt, too. Just, for, um, just so that it would look a little bit nicer. And that is going to be our little flag holder. I mean, not flag holder, but our little flag with our little beaded holder. So I'm going to put this down like that for a minute so I can let go of it. Like that. I don't know if it's going to... I think that my glue... <laughs> my big heap of glue is going to roll off so I'm going to have to hold it for another minute and you can start to see when your glue, hot glue is drying because uh, it turns, well mine does because it turns opaque I guess it's not as clear it gets a, a little bit milky looking I don't know if you can see inside the cracks here where this, some of my glue has dried it's hard because I don't want to tip this upside down, but it um, it starts to turn this color. Not quite clear, but a little foggy. If that makes any sense. I say opaque, maybe? I don't know. But look how cute this is. 
if it doesn't fall off. Look how cute our little flag is. Is that wicked cute? I think it is adorable, and I hope that you loved it too. I hope you join me next time, and we'll do a new craft. I'm going to show um, how to do a tumbler technique on my next video because um, people have voted on which technique they would like to see me do. So I don't want to give you a hint, but uh, it's the cool one. Really, really cool. <laughs> and so uh, if you like this craft, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and uh, comment in the comments if you um, think I should have changed this. Maybe I should have painted this in a different color or um, if you go ahead and make this crap please take a picture and send it to me so I can see what your version looks like and um, until then if you want to sprinkle this that means S-H-A-R-E with your friends that might also like to do this craft um, that would really help my channel so until then, thanks for crafting with me. It was my first DIY and I tried to do some things before so it didn't take as long, like cutting out the, the napkin. And, but I did change my mind on a few things and it did take a little longer. So thanks for bearing with me. And um, if you watched this video all the way to the end, comment below end e n d because i am going to do a giveaway um at the end of the month and i everyone that comments on this that says end will be entered into my drawing so um at the end of the month i'm going to pull a name out of a hat um and i am going to give a box of items that I make um, away or it might be a box of um, items that have Dollar Tree goods in it. it it's going to be a little box of everything a little stuff that I might make stuff that you can do to make with me so um, if you want to um, be entered in that drawing just enter the word at end and uh, until then thanks so much for watching I know this was long and I will see you in my next video bye